So I'm going to show you a video here, how I'm going to, how well these hold up. I'm just going to dip this in here and then dip it in here and voila. These are gluten free because I'm a celiac and we've got dye free sprinkles here because my son has to be dye free. So to accommodate all the food restrictions, can't, whoa, hey, I caught it, guys. Can be tricky, but, <coughs> that's right, I just licked my fingers. But this mold is amazing. These things came out perfectly. Oh, look at this beautiful <coughs> plate of donuts. That coughing is sun number three. He is anxiously awaiting a donut. Let's make room for this guy. Yep. Look at that beautiful plate of donuts, guys. Okay, so, buddy, go ahead and try one. And give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Woo. Thumbs up. Awesome. All right, guys. No, you can, you, oh, two thumbs up. That's why you put the donut down. So we got two thumbs up donuts. And uh, they're gluten free, they're dye free, and they did not take me very long to make. Ugh. So the donut pan, the donut form, is no longer available, although I just received mine in, in the mail. But there's a waffle form and you could use the same recipe for the donuts that you do the waffle form. Um, and you can decorate them exactly the same. In fact, it might be better because it's gonna hold more stuff in the little ridges in the waffles. So there you go. I'll post the recipe I used. Happy eating.